Now let's take a look at another filter in ArchiCAD, which is called Graphic Overrides. So right now we're using no overrides. So let's zoom in a little bit here in this corner and start changing them to see what happens. So I'm going to change here to Cardboard Model. And as you can see, the whole plan is kind of gray. If I change here to something like the fire plan, you will notice that the walls are now transparent and all my zones are kind of red. And if we try here a simplified plan override, you're going to see that all my walls are gray and I no longer have those cover fill for the tiles on the bathrooms. And as the name suggests, this is overriding all the graphical attributes of the elements. So let's see how we do that. Let's go to Documents, Graphic Overrides. Here we have a graphic override combinations for the settings. We have those overrides that we looked at, and then we have the graphic override rules. We're going to look at that in a little bit. So I'm going to open this first one, graphic override combinations. And here we have a couple of combinations with different rules. For example, on the cardboard model, I have a rule that says that everything that is cut should be gray. Everything that is uncut should be white. On the fire plan, I have a couple of rules here. One saying that the fire rating elements of three hours should have this property. Fire rating elements of one hour and a half have some other properties. Fire rating zones one should be kind of red like we saw. Here on the simplified plan, we have three rules. Everything that is cut, like we see here, should be black. All the cover fields should be transparent. And all the zone fields should be also transparent. So let's see how this rule works. So I'm going to press escape here and go to documents, graphic overrides, and then graphic override rules. So here on the left, we have all those rules and the settings for them. So if we find here the rule for fire rating 03, the criteria is any type of element that has the fire resistance of three hours should receive those attributes and those attributes are don't need to change any line type don't need to change any text pen but do change the field type to common brick with those colors here white and black and other surface in 3d should become this purple paint so if i cancel this and change the override to fire plan again and i'm going to change some walls properties here so i'm going to select a couple of them and let's say those walls are actually fire rating of one hour and a half. So I'm going to go here to the settings, fire resistant rating. Now it's 25 minutes. I'm going to put one hour and a half. Press OK. And those walls now have those attributes. So if I select one of those external walls here, do the same. But at this time, I'm going to change it to three hours. Press OK. And we have this different override. So I'm going to change it back here to no override and let's create our own override. So I'm going to go to document, graphic overrides, graphic override combination. Let's create a new combination that I'm going to call zone colors. And I'm going to add two rules, one for all cover fields to become transparent and another to all cut fields become solid black. But I need to add one new rule that doesn't exist. So I'm going to go here to edit rules and Arcad will take us to the setting rules. And then I'm going to press new and I'm going to call this all zone fills for bedrooms. So I want to say that the elements type zone that has the criteria name that starts with bedroom should have the attributes changed to a cover fill of 50% on the surface and a foreground fill blue on the surface as well and a background of the surface white. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK and let's add this rule to the zone colors. So let's look here for our zone fill bedrooms. Yes. And then I'm going to change the order here for all the way to the top. So this is the first rule that applies to the override. So let's press OK and see how it looks. So as you can see now, I have every zone that has the name bedroom as blue. In this way, we could create a colorful plan that shows 
all the categories that I want to, for instance, all the bathrooms to be green or all the circulations to be white, and therefore. I can also see the override graphics being really useful when you are creating an electrical plan, for instance, where you want to have all the models gray, but every element that is on the layer electrical to be red. And that's a brief view of overrides.